Insurers and homeowners can attend a virtual workshop happening tomorrow to better understand a proposed overhaul of California's insurance regulations. Last week, Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara announced a plan to help rescue California's collapsing home insurance market. The plan would allow insurers for the first time to factor increasing wildfire risk from climate change into their rates. That's not currently allowed under the law. Two of California's largest insurance companies, State Farm and Allstate, recently announced they would stop writing new homeowners policies in this state. Lara's proposal will also seek commitments from insurers to continue issuing new policies here in California. For more, we're joined by one of the speakers for tomorrow's workshop, Carl Sussman from the Sussman Insurance Agency, who also holds a master's degree in insurance management from Columbia University. Carl, thank you for the time. We appreciate it. So this workshop tomorrow, that the insurance commissioner is holding it is focused on the use of what's called catastrophe modeling in the rate setting process. Help us understand what that is and, and what the purpose of this event is. Absolutely. You mean that's not just an obvious term that everybody knows? <laughs> like, I can't believe it. Uh, I, you know, I think the best way to describe catastrophic modeling is it's, it's sort of the, the perfect marriage of science, math, engineering, history, statistical analysis, and really sophisticated computer technology. It, it takes into account basically everything, all of the data that we have from the past, currently, and what's being forecast, and it mashes it all together, and it gives us an idea of what to expect tomorrow. All right, so right now, insurance companies, they, they are not allowed to pass on to consumers the, the, the rising costs of buying what's called reinsurance. This is insurance for insurance companies. Does it look as though the proposal that's being put forth by the insurance commissioner is going to relax those regulations? And, and why would that be significant? Well, what's interesting about that is the answer is sort of yes. Uh, they've come up with a great idea. They actually are, what's in the proposed regulations are to allow the reinsurance costs, but only as they uh, as they affect California, not the rest of the world and their reinsurance costs. Normally, reinsurance companies are international, and if the rates are going up, as they are, it affects everybody. And the new regulations, as they're being proposed, would affect reinsurance rates only as they apply to California. All right, so I mean, it sounds like these changes to, to state regulations that, that are, you know, just proposals at this point, but it sounds like they are going to make home insurance more widely available to Californians, which, which is certainly an issue right now as you have these providers pulling out, but it sounds like it's also going to get more expensive. Can you give us a sense of just how much more expensive we can expect those premiums will be? Well, I think it's a little bit of it's a little bit of both because first of all, right now what we're seeing is no competition or close to no competition. When there's little competition out there, we all know what happens to prices. They go way up, and that's where we are right now. So what'll happen is once these regulations, hopefully, or similar regulations to them go through, part of them also mandate that the insurance industry as a whole, each carrier has to offer coverage for a minimum of 85% of the properties in distressed areas and higher risk areas. So what that's basically doing for the first time ever is mandating all of the carriers to take on a larger percentage of risk than they normally do. So what's going to happen in the short term is as we've been seeing rates going up, up, up because competition has been going down, down, down. Once these regulations come and all of the insurance companies are back in, we all know what happens when there's competition there's competition, the rates will drop. Mm -hmm. Add that to the fact that the regulations mandate a higher threshold for what insurance companies must write. I think we're going to see, unfortunately, rates continue to rise right now until these regulations are put into place. And then when all of the companies come running back and start competing, we'll start to see them lower down again. All right, so, so is there anything in the proposal from the insurance commissioner that, that guarantees insurers uh, will have to continue to provide coverage to homeowners here in California so we can sort of stop what we are seeing right now with, with these major insurers fleeing the state? Well, I haven't seen the regulations, obviously. They're, they're not in existence yet. There's a, there are some things that are only verbal. There are some things that are probably written down. And my understanding from, uh, from the people I've spoken with uh, in Sacramento is that the goal and the understanding between the industry and the, uh, and, and the legislatures and the governor and the Department of Insurance, everybody, is that if we do all of this, 
it's to be sure that everybody's back and everybody is aggressively writing insurance in California. So I think the answer is a resounding yes. All right, Carl Sussman, we uh, really appreciate the insight today, and we want to remind our viewers here that that virtual workshop with the state's insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara, is happening tomorrow, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, a, a very important workshop here to get uh, important questions asked for homeowners and for insurers here in California. You can register for that workshop at KTVU.com. We have put a link there under our web link section. Carl, thank you for the time. We appreciate it. Thank you.